Oh, I'm going merry go. Okay, folks. So here's a special purpose trailer that I built. Uh, I don't know, eight years ago or something. And um, it served its purpose. It is no longer required for that special purpose. So um, it's about time to chop it and turn it into something more useful. I have this and a uh, 2.5 by 1.5, so just over eight before of heavy checker plate steel um, plan is cut this down to a sensible size salvage as much of this metal as I can in good lengths and then uh, weld an axle back on at a predetermined spot and <laughs> stick the checker plate on and then when we've got something solid reinforce around all of that yeah all right let's uh, let's start cutting this apart Okay, so we've got the super high-tech uh, suspension unit alignment tool installed. <laughs> the suspension units are bolted to the plates and I'm just going to weld the plates to the trailer. I'm just going to tack them on and then whip everything off and weld them on properly. So I've got a bit better access to do some nice welds there. I think this is the only really uh, important thing as far as alignment's concerned with a single axle trailer. Um, everything's going to drop in behind that tow hitch, isn't it? So uh, as long as these are sort of parallel and equidistant to the uh, to the hitch, uh, should should tow it right. Yeah. Um, as far as the split's concerned, the four and a half split. Um, these axles are two inches behind the centre line, so not much, but you know, just a just a couple of inches behind the centre line. Um, if we need a, we need good weight distribution on the trailer, but we'll do that with uh, we're loading rather than you know, rather than uh, doing it with the axle placement. Fucking drains. <laughs> hey. Anyway, um, so I got all the welding done on the trailer now, I reckon. Well, not quite. Pretty much all the welding done on the trailer. I'll just uh, put a bracket on there to take a jockey wheel, yeah? Um, the only thing I want to weld on here that I haven't done yet are some lashing points, yeah? Um, uh, I don't normally use straps when I'm tying stuff to the car, but I suppose big heavy stuff so I'm, I'm more inclined to use straps, ratchet straps that is, um, than rope, uh, and especially on a on a flat top trailer like this, you know. Um, so uh, I, I looked at buying some weld on lashing straps, and they're all really big, like a bit too big for this. I, I like them, you know. I like nice big forge fittings. Uh, but they're you know quite expensive as well. 
Um, and I want quite a few lashing points around this trailer, so what I'm going to do is um, take this. This is considerably heavier tube than what I've been using. Same external dimensions, um, square section, mild steel, as what I've used on here, but heavier wall thickness, so this is 3mm, so it's quite quite heavy. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, cut cut myself some you know, inch and a half s slices of this box, um, just basically turn this whole this whole length into inch and a half slices and then cut those, slit those slices along their length um, so I'll end up with lots of little C-sections of um, of this 3 mm mile little box and then I'm just going to work around the outside of this thing and uh, obviously avoiding where the wheels are going to go uh, <laughs> you know, pop this down and um, I, might, uh, I might just knock the edges down first so if I do use rope rather than straps it doesn't, you know, slice straight through them, yeah Okay. Okay, so we got uh, 14 lashing points all the way around. Um, I've only got a couple of bits left to do now. Uh, I want to close in these uh, the end of the box section here. You've got three bits stacked on top of each other at the corners. Each corner, uh, I'm going to end up scooping up a load of mud and denting those tubes. So I'm just going to put a, a relatively heavy bit of steel over that and fold it underneath as well. So uh, it sort of acts like a skid. Um, so we're going to flip the whole trailer upside down again. Uh, wheels, we're going to leave leave the wheels and mud guards till I get this thing outside. Otherwise, I'm just going to tear them off again, aren't I? And um, I did get a little um, breakaway cable. Yeah, uh, it's actually a something I bought uh, just because you know it's the sort of thing the old Bill liked to see when they're thinking about giving you a ticket for driving around with a homemade trailer uh, if I have a breakaway cable on there hopefully they'll go easy on me but first I'll flip it all the way over and uh, close in those bits of box section what a fine looking trailer <laughs> all right so it has turned out all right i reckon um seems to be remarkably sturdy a bit too sturdy for a uh, 750 kilo trailer i'm just uh, looking at the um the the laws on trailer towing and they're you know they're, I've, uh, since i've been driving the laws have changed three times i think i mean i forget how long i've been driving that it has been a little while now uh, <laughs> like, uh, what are we on about? How many years? Jesus, yeah, 20 years. Jeez, God, I'm old. Um, and, uh, and what? So it's changed three times, and at the end of this year, it's about to change again, and they're just going to completely de restrict it. So anyone with any car driving license will be able to tow a trailer brake trailer up to a maximum three and a half ton provided the tow vehicle suitable yeah because at the moment you're allowed unbraked up to 750 or gross vehicle weight of uh of tow vehicle and trailer to, to 3500 i think because that's a you know that thing that thing grosses at three ton i think so that means i can only have a ton of trailer so it's not really worth having more than 750 kilo and the, you know, the added weight of the brakes, I don't know. Um, either way, uh, it's about to get a bit easier. So um, I might even put brakes on this one, you know. Uh, the trailer itself will certainly be good for a lot more than the 750 kilos. Um, yeah, it's just uh, just keeping plod happy, isn't it, really? Um, what, what happened at the back here? Got my nice, uh, nice plates over the exposed box section got to find some lights for it i'll just use a light um light bar for now i think um and then maybe uh maybe do some nice lights at a later date that's it i haven't got much time this week i've got uh, lots going on uh, lots of really exciting stuff that i'm trying to squirrel away before uh before winter you know um and uh and what 
hopefully hopefully I'll be able to to show you all, all the exciting bits and bobs that I've collected in a, in a week's time or something like that hey okay <laughs> anyway there we have the trailer toes nice toes nice don't know it's there which you you know you kind of expect for a two axle trailer that one axle trailer um yep 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 all right okay hope you enjoyed that folks and uh take it easy and i'll see you later all right bye bye